Hi everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about bending stress and deflection of a cantilever beam using numerical versus FEA calculation. This is the cantilever beam of length L and breadth of B and depth of H. And the sum of the forces acting on the cantilever beam in y direction is zero. Reaction force R L is acting in upward positive and force is acting downwards minus F is equal to zero and the reaction forces acting here is 20 newtons. As per the theory of the bending, bending stress is equal to M by I into Y. M is the moment and I is the moment of inertia and Y is the distance from neutral axis to the outermost layer that is H by 2 here. By using the numerical calculations, we got the bending stress 94.96 Newton per mm square and the deflection is 0.61 mm and the reaction force area is equal to 20 Newton. We will simulate this problem in FEA analysis. Let's open the hyper mesh window. Press F8 to create a nodes. and create a 1D beam section. Go to 1D panel and hyper beam standard section solid rectangle. And as we know the dimensions of the rectangle cross section is 5 by 5. Let's enter the values 5 and 5. And the orientation of this beam is in Y and Z axis. Y and Z axis. Please remember this Y and Z axis. We need to use this in the orientation while creating the beam element. Now create a material property steel type isotropic. Hard image mat one. Create. Young modulus. Poison ratio and density. Now create a property P beam type 1D card image P beam material steel beam section rectangle cross section create. Now create a component name called cantilever beam and select the property P beam and create. Go to 1D panel, create bars. And here we need to select the orientation that is Y axis property P beam element type C beam select the node A node B node A and node B respectively now clear these temporary nodes by clicking shift F2 nodes displayed clear on Now come to property here and beam here. Click on continuation line to here C D E F. These are the coordinates for the stress recovery points. These are the stress recovery points of an element. C D E F and this is origin. We know C F. This is the breadth and C D is the depth of H. CF is 5 mm and CD is 5 mm from the origin from here to here 2.5 mm. Let's create CDEF points in the hyper view create a load step SPC create return analysis constraint constraints all decrease of freedom at this node 
create one more load collector name force 20 newton create forces create select minus 20 newton enter and select this node and come to entity settings name reaction force and select this node we need to calculate the reaction forces at this node reaction force at this location RA is 20 newton we need to calculate RA is equal to 20 newton in the results create load step static analysis SPC force 20 newton create analysis control cards go to global output request and request a displacement request a kit point force request the stress displacement format is h3d h3d is a binary format and grip point force is an optic format this is an axis format option is SID set identification number select the reaction force set stress is in history format and everything is fine here component load collector load step material property come to toolbars and check the model anything missing or anything unrealistic in the model maybe some attributes will miss while preparing a deck run no failed elements found in the selection now export this solver deck save as cantilever view finished exporting is finished open the optistruct solver copy this part here cantilever dot gpl this is we requested in ascii format open with textpad here see here spc reaction force is cost to 20 this is as we expected r is equal to 20 and the spc moment about z is 2 e power 3 20 moment about z axis this out of the plane 20 into 100 2 e power 3 as you see here z axis force is acting in negative y direction so 100 into 20 moment about z axis is 2 e power 3 this is as we find here open hyper view load the results it's in history format maximum deflection is 0.61 mm as we derive from the numerical and numerical analysis also 0.61 mm and the 
bending stress is 96. Here 95. We calculated in the numerical analysis a small error. A small 1 or 2 percent error. 96. And one more SA. This is under compression. 96 minus 96. This is also 96. Here, as you know, the theory of the bending when we apply load here, we will get a positive tension, positive bending stress in the positive bending stress on the upper layer and the neutral bending stress in the bottom layer. Thank you.